Peter Harder spearheaded the Trudeau government's transition team after the Liberals won the last election. That will be a piece of cake compared to his next task. To modernize the Senate and bring respect and esteem uh, to the institution. Harder has held top jobs in departments such as foreign affairs. Now as the government's representative in the Senate, he has to stick handle the Liberals' legislative agenda and he's facing some big challenges. Not the least of which is that the Prime Minister kicked Liberal senators out of the Liberal caucus. There are no more Liberal senators. The Conservatives hold 42 Senate seats, the biggest obstacle to passing Liberal legislation. But these new appointments change the math. There are now 20 independents, along with the 26 so-called Senate Liberals. 46 seats in total, which combine to outnumber the Conservatives. But naturally, it isn't that simple. Three of those independents are either on trial or under investigation. Others are former Conservatives who won't automatically see eye to eye with the government. He likes to talk of sunny days. Um, I tend to see cloudy days on this front and uh, perhaps a few thunderstorms coming down the road. Retired House of Commons law clerk Rob Walsh says without traditional partisan structures, Harder will have to broker the majorities he needs to pass legislation. Well, there's one thing what he might do on the floor of the Senate, it's another what he might do in, in the back rooms. And while I will not have the tools of party discipline, I hope that, uh, that the Senate, uh, individually and collectively where they are caucused, uh, take seriously their responsibilities to act as a chamber of, uh, of uh, both reflection but also action. That's the challenge in appointing independent senators. They exercise their independence and don't automatically fall into line. I function best uh, when I'm able to look at things from all points of view and come to my own conclusions. So instead of cracking the whip, Harder will have to work the room. I mean, he wasn't Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs for nothing. I mean, he knows the art of compromise. He is a diplomat. He has worked with the Conservatives. He has worked with the Liberals. There is no playbook for what Peter Harder is doing, so in many ways he'll be making it up as he goes along, dealing with legislation on a case-by-case -case basis. He says his tenure will be a success if, at the end of his mandate, Canadians are talking about the work the Senate is doing rather than its scandals.